Hello everyone. This is not a good way to start out. I just had to restart this video. Um, okay, so anyway, I'm really hoping this video will upload and that you get to see it. Um, I did a tutorial last uh, Thursday and it didn't upload and I couldn't redo it. Um, I did a, a, a trading video on Saturday and it didn't upload. Um, so I'm really hoping that today will upload. It's already given me one message saying that uh, I had to restart, that it wasn't recording. So let's hope that this records well and uploads well. Uh, anyway, I got two packages in the mail today and I'm tickled pink with both packages. I can't wait to look in both of them. But the first one that I'm going to open up here and share with you is a package from Shirley Harrington. Uh, we agreed to do a, a loaded envelope swap and uh, I can't wait to see what she did. This apparently is her first loaded envelope and I'm just really eager to see how she did on it. So without any further ado, let's get started. It is fully loaded, that's for sure. Okay, we have the package is all wrapped in lace and ribbon. And this fell out. Um, a pin, isn't that gorgeous? That is an absolutely beautiful pin. Oh, I'll have a hard time using that on something, but it sure would make something pretty. That's gorgeous. So it looks like we have a little card here first. And it says, Christine, thank you for doing this swap with me. I thoroughly enjoyed making this project because it was something new for me. Hope it fits the bill of romantic or Valentine uh, theme, the flowers, hence the flowers and candy. Many hugs, Shirley Harrington. Well, thank you, thank you. So, let's undo the ribbon here. It's a nice little piece of black satin ribbon. And then a beautiful piece a black lace. Isn't that gorgeous? That is beautiful. Oh, I love using that. Thank you so much. And then we got things falling out all over the place. Here's her loaded envelope. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it does fit the the uh, qualifications of Valentine or romance. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So the first thing on top is this gorgeous fan. I just love that. That is so pretty. I'll set that on the shelf in my bedroom where I have all of my really pretty things so that I can see them constantly. And then I just noticed this. I don't know where it came from. It's a little tiny gem. Very unusual. Very pretty. And then this red flower fell out. And then we have here a nice little bag of candy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, even though I don't get to eat it. 
I'll have to give it to my roommate or my son. I can't eat chocolates. But thank you so much. That was very sweet of you to give them to me. And down in here we still have, oh, here's another little black flower. Isn't that pretty? And that's all that's in the front pocket. So let's take another look at the envelope. Isn't that just gorgeous? You know, I've always thought that black and white is very elegant looking. It's not colors that I do normally or all the time, but every once in a while I just get in the mood to do something in black and white, and I just love the way it comes out. Look at this little flower over here on the side. Did you create that? It looks like maybe a little flower just folded over several times with a little resin or plastic flower on the front. Oh, that's that's glue. Oh, so that means that something here fell off that maybe that. Maybe that little red gem there cuz that fits right in it. So that fit on there like that. And that is just an absolutely adorable flower. I love it. And I like this trim. Did you see this trim? It's got all these little little circles that stand out. And it's just, it's gorgeous. And the lace across the bottom is so pretty. And I, I love this little button or gem right here in the middle. That is so pretty. And then she's got a couple of smaller ones up on each corner. And she did the roll collar type and did a beautiful job of it for your first time. You've done fantastic with this. And look at this adorable bouquet. Oh, I love the way you put that together. That is just beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to find some place to put that near my desk. And then we have some, oh, aren't these pretty? These are from Bead Landing, and they're charms. Oh, love them. So pretty. And all oh, this little tea set. It's adorable. That is so cute. I don't know if I mentioned it the first time, <laughs> forgot already, whether that, that, that Shirley doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she does beautiful work. She's, she swapped several times with me uh, or entered challenges or whatever. I'm just pulling everything out of the big back pocket right now. And she does absolutely beautiful work. I love getting her things. And I wish she had a YouTube channel that she could share this beautiful stuff with. But maybe when she's ready, she will. Look at this flower. This, this I think, is similar to the one that's on the front of the envelope. Maybe just one, one grouping of it, or one or two groupings of it. And, oh, it's so pretty. A little pearl in the middle. So many layers. One, two, three, four layers of petals. So pretty. And look at this one. Oh, I bet you made all these flowers, didn't you? They're burnt edge, 
and they came out, all of them came out just gorgeous. I tried burnt edge one time and I think I was afraid to burn the edges and ruin it. <laughs> so mine didn't turn out so well, but that is just gorgeous. Excuse me, man, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have some trims here that she's got tied with this twine and a little heart. And look at that beautiful trim. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. So pretty. Oh, you've sent me so many things that are so gorgeous. I'm going to have a hard time using them again. They may all just end up in my possession for the rest of their natural life. I know we share things so that, that they can use them for on their projects and stuff, but oh, some of these things are just so pretty. I have a hard time. Look at that lace, that trim. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and this one's pretty too. I don't think I've ever seen these trims. You must have some really nice lace and trim stores or maybe you buy them online but I never seem to find these pretty ones like this <coughs> isn't that pretty look at all those colors down the middle it's like the uh, the hemp um, but it's got all those gorgeous colors going through the middle and I love it. Okay, one more here. Sorry, I sound kind of weird today. I was really sick yesterday and uh, feeling much better today. But uh, see that one? I don't know if it goes that way or this way because these kind of look like butterflies in here but I would say that this dangle would go down so I guess you could use it either way you want it to but that is so pretty okay and there's still more on the back so let's look and see what she's put on the back there's the front of the envelope, completely empty. Still gorgeous, beautiful. So, oh, what's this? There's the back of the envelope. She put a little pocket here in lace. Oh, this is the, the trim she gave me here is the one that's crossed the front here. So she's got them pointed down. And it does look good that way. Like I said, the other way, it kind of looks like a butterfly, too. But anyway, this piece of lace here that she's used for the pocket is pretty. And look at this beautiful key charm. Isn't that pretty? Oh. And it says love on the bottom here. All full of little gems. And that is so pretty. We have a little card here that I can use. That's cute. Brunch is always a good idea. <laughs> That's basically what I eat every day. I rarely eat breakfast. Coffee and juice for breakfast. But I'm usually hungry by around 11 o'clock. Another little tag. This says beautiful memories. 
And this is pretty. Oh, look at this one. Isn't that pretty? I don't know what set she got these from, but they sure are pretty. That's gorgeous. And it says, Welcome to my garden. Isn't that cute? Well, thank you, Shirley. I am so glad that we did this swap together. You did an absolutely outstanding job for your first time. It is very romantic. And I just love everything that you did with it. It is just perfect. Thank you so much. I am so happy we did this and hope that maybe we can do another one here soon in the future. So, everybody have a good day. Be crafty. Be happy. And I'll see you again in just a little bit.